Yeah, they say only easy lies the head that wears the crown. Your successor has come under a lot of fire. I'm sure you've been following. Yes, I do follow development. Yes, 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 yes. Do you support his removal? I mean, you shy away from the question, but I need to at some point answer it. Do you support his removal from office? I mean, his own MPs are asking that it should be removed. Do you support it? Yeah, as I keep saying, it's a prerogative of the person. Yes, we know that. It's also. <laughs> and, what um, do you think about removing non functioning, <laughs> uh, substandard, non performing ministers who are responsible for finance, especially those who say we should not go to the IMF? What do you think about that? Well, my position is clear. There are uh, checks and balances. Uh, there are, that's why we have an executive authority. Mm -hmm. And it is up to the president to evaluate, you know, and uh, remove uh, appoints mm. and remove ministers. Uh, there are, you know, several complex reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, some we know, we talk about, some we may not know why these actions are taken. Uh, beyond that, there is a constitutional, you know, uh, requirements of powers, you know, vested in, in parliamentarians. Yes. And we are seeing the two at play. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, probably we need constitutional experts at this stage yeah. you know, to be educated as to what is going on. So would there ever be a time you would answer the question whether your predecessor, your successor has underperformed and it should be removed? I guess my point is an education one. <laughs> okay, I, <get> <laughs> and I understand that now. And it is too. It is too. <laughs> no, it is too. No, honestly, it's I'm serious about it. Informed by <clears throat> because I've seen recently people sharing clips from when you were minister. When, for example, one says the former president saying that he's under pressure, people ask that he should remove you. I saw one from you used my to... good friend uh, Kojo Ponko. Oh, okay. He's my good friend. Okay. Yeah. So I saw. I saw him pose the question first. I've seen mm -hmm. other MPs. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the data speaks for itself. I mean, when it comes to the economy, the data is there. It's up to, you know, Ghanaians with uh, the presence of mind and then also with hindsight to see whether that call, you know, was justified or not, or whether my, what my boss thought at the time. I think he defended the position. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what, exactly what I mean by is the prerogative. Is the current president right in not immediately removing the minister? I am not in his position. It is very difficult, you yeah. know, when you are not in the position I, I get you. of somebody like the president mm -hmm. to second guess him. You know? How do you feel when there are calls for your removal? In fact, during your time, it was not this massive. I didn't hear MPs come out and do press conferences like this. I didn't hear this rallying call, but even though there were some calls anyway, but how do you feel when the ministry are actually in charge of, at the time that people feel there is crisis, there are calls for your removal? Well, the point is that um, no human being is perfect. Mm -hmm. And if there's an element of truth in what you know, they are saying, you listen. If it is a question of misrepresentation, you try and explain yourself. Okay. And which is what you know, I did with press conferences and others. You know, and um, you know, and then you, you remain as focused as you know as, as possible. If I felt strongly that you know the position was justified, well, I could have probably gone to the president. Again, that's privy. You know, um, so whether I went to him and had a discussion or not, I, I prefer to let that you know remain because that is the prerogative of the president.